Stephen, it was uh, quite an entertaining last hour or so out there in the end. What's your assessment of the final day? Yeah, well, I, you know, I turned up believing that we could win the game. Um, and uh, all the other 10 players did as well, uh, along with the coaching staff. I think we've proven in these five games, not just to, not, in, not just in this game, but that we be, we're going to become a, a real force in Red Bull cricket, I believe. Um, the results are the, the win column probably doesn't suggest that. But I think, you know, hats off to Derby first game. They chased the 360 really well. Uh, Yorkshire, that was our fault. We, we, we didn't chase that and we should have done. Uh, rain interrupted Lancashire Leicester games where we was on top. We might not have won, but we had a good chance. And then this game, I think we've dominated all four days. So I think we're, you know, everybody can be really proud of what they've done, but it's just the start and we need to continue to work harder going into next year. Very strong effort in those final sort of 15 overs or so from, from Trigo and Duckett first up. Yeah, you know, we thought we deserved, you know, 202 when you could put everyone on the boundary in 17 overs is going to be a tall ask. And you need some luck and you need two people to come off probably. Um, but we thought we deserved and uh, we gave ourselves... Um, we, we deserve to have a go at it. That's what I, I was trying to say. Um, you know, it wasn't to me, but again, there was only, in my opinion, one team who was going to win the game uh, at the start of today and even towards the end of the day. And it wasn't to me, but 16 points from the game and, and we're in a better position than when we started the Bob Willis Trophy. What did you make of the uh, the commitment shown by the team all the way through the rest of the day? You could see it in the appeals and the celebrations, I think. Yeah, well, I, I don't just think today. I think through the whole tournament, I think going back to probably November, I think the... You know, the commitment being shown by not just the players, but the support staff. Um, you know, we've had some tough times, as you know, with, with uh, coronavirus. And, you know, for the lads, we, were, we had a, a couple of nights away at Rutland Water just before um, COVID hit. And we were getting really tight as a squad. And for that to hit at that time wasn't great for us. But the way that the lads came back uh, and were still really a tight unit was really impressive and I think it's going to stand us in good stead. Yeah, a lot of the lads have said that in post-matches that there's a they're sort of tighter team feeling in there. How do you think that does help you when you're, you're out there on the field? Well, I think if you're willing to you know, go the extra mile for your mate, I think it stands you in great stead. I, I think you've seen that. You know, We asked for, for bigger partnerships. We've had a double hundred partnership, Slater Hamid, and then a big one here, Duckett and, Slater, uh, Duckett and, and Clark, 190 or whatever. Um, yeah, and you know, on an, on another day or another year, we we could be we could have been playing this game to go to Lords. It wasn't to be. Uh, some of it was our own fault. Some of it wasn't. Um, but I, what I do believe, I think we're in a miles better place than where, where we were. Definitely in it last year, but when we started this year, I think we're in a better place now, uh, and that's really exciting going forward. And it seems a long time until until the next four-day season now. But but when we do get there next year, what do you think you'll still be able to take from this last month? Well, I, th I think the teamwork, um, I think the way that we've set up our team to, to play the long game, um, but still at, at certain times, like you saw the chase there, we had a, we had a crack at it. Um, at certain times, you can put your foot down. Um, I think the emergence, you know, Zach Chappell got left out the first game, come back really well, probably been our best seamer. Uh, Tom Barber's been great. Ben Slater again went on loan to Leicester, got a big 100 and then came back, got 100 first game. I think we're in a great spot, I really do, uh, and I'm really excited to see where this team can go. Cheers, Stephen. Thanks.